So you ever wondered how to make a timer, and then, like, maybe when it runs up, you want something to happen? Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you exactly how that's done. So what I'm first going to do is show you what happens when this timer runs to zero. Time's up! Basically, that's all it does. But, if you want to change that, it's quite simple, really. What you first want to do is you want to make an event that actually starts the timer. You can do this by going to tab 1 of the event commands, and do control timer, start, and then you set the minutes and the seconds. So that's the first thing. Second thing you want to do is have a parallel process always running somewhere to check if the timer is zero or less. How you do that is you go to conditional branch and you go to timer, zero, zero, or less, and uncheck this box. When, when you do that, you'll have this little section here. It looks just like this. Now you, you just have your little events within this little section. That's all you got to do. And, but remember to do control timer stop after that. Like after your event's done, you want to do control timer stop. Or you can do it ahead of time to make it kind of close before all the event happens. So you don't have a bunch of zeros at the top right corner. So thank you guys for watching, and I really hope this helps some of you. And I will be, I will be doing the uh, videos that you guys have requested in the comments of the last video. So I hope you guys enjoy, and good luck, and have fun making games. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.